Welcome back YouTubers and thanks for watching another watch review on Todd's Watch Shop channel. Today I've got a a watch from let's see where's my thing pointing this country right there. It is a Kienzel Selecta. See if you can see that. I want to make sure you guys get a really good view of this. It has a very very nice face. This is a watch that uh, is from my personal collection. This is going to be a vintage watch review, as you can clearly see. This is an old watch. Um, I restored this. It's a 17 Jewel watch. It's it's manufactured and assembled in Germany. It's post-war, obviously. It's not it's not that old. Um, this is this watch is probably from 1957 to 1959. Uh, and the way that you can tell is that it does have uh, Inca block on the inside. And I'll show a picture of the movement later. But it says waterproof. I don't know if you can see that in the picture. I want to make sure you guys can see that. Um, what's interesting about that is anytime you see the words waterproof on a watch, that means that the watch was produced prior to 1963. In 1963, the United States, there was a class action lawsuit against uh, all the watch importers and watchmakers uh, because they were putting waterproof and in fact, the watches were not waterproof. Uh, some of them were not even uh, remotely water resistant. And the class action lawsuit stated that they were, um, they were misrepresenting the watch. So after 1963, all watches will either say water resistance or measure the type and the level of water resistance. Um, I would say this watch is certainly not waterproof or even remotely water resistant. Um, this is a snapback case. It's very nice, but this, this is something that you could wear uh, just fine and uh, be in the rain. I would not wear it in the shower because there is not a crown, uh, extend, uh, crown shaft extension. As you can see, this is literally just a, um, there's the case and then the crown protrudes right out of it. It doesn't seat, seat into it. Um, so it's it's a free floating stem. I'm just not loose, but uh, let me wind this. It's a manual wind watch. It's not an automatic, but most of these tend to be. Uh, it's a very nice watch and it uses the Kienzel uh, 17 joule movement. Um, this movement, and, and I'll go into more details, has uh, it, it comes in a variety of different jewels, uh, jewel combinations from three to to one to 17, which is the nicest one. Uh, the sister watch to this one is actually the Kienzel Mercant, which I also have one of, which is very nice. Um, the Mercant is a lesser watch to the Kienzel. Uh, the Kienzel is the nicer one. The Mercant is the uh, slightly less expensive one. These are both from the same era, which is really nice that I actually have both of these and that I can compare them. Uh, this is a watch that I am selling because with all the new watches I have coming in, I, I'm going to have to get rid of it, uh, unfortunately. But I, I, gosh, I really love this watch. I wore this, I've worn this a few times since I completely restored it. When I got it, it was in horrible condition. It was covered, the, the case, um, the crystal was, uh, this is actually the original crystal but it was completely damaged and I was able to scratch to, to all get out. If it looks like scratches, that's actually the face. It has sort of a, a weave um, design to it. It's very, very cool. I, I hope you can, you can see that. Um, I polished out the crystal using uh, five different forms of sandpaper. It was uh, first 1,000 grit, then 1,500 grit, then 2,000 grit, then 2,500 grit finally 3000 grit and then I polished it using a polishing compound which is this and this is not a paid promotion but this stuff is excellent I use this all the time uh, and a uh, special cloth that I use um, I actually also sealed the crystal to the watch case using UV glue which uh, which I then solidify using this uh, and it actually works really well. That helps provide a much better seal than uh, than um, this watch would have had when, when new, because normally you use one of these watch tools to uh, pull the crown and then you reinstall it with this, um, which I can go into one day if anybody's curious on, on how to work on watches. But uh, the, the case is 
is gold plated. It's very nice. The hands are also gold plated as are the individual indicators. Every single thing in here that you see is gold plated. Um, accuracy on this watch is, is quite spectacular. I think last time I measured it was like within five seconds, um, plus or minus five seconds in a day, which is quite good uh, for a 17 jewel watch. Um, stamped case back. Um, everything's made in Germany, stainless steel, anti-magnetic. So um, it's it won't it won't get messed up um, by you know your wallet and cards or cell phone anything like that. It has a, a wonderful Jules Jurgensen uh, very it's padded baseball glove leather watch strap very nice watch strap. Um, I, I'm a big guy I'm six foot three um, I'm fairly thin but uh, I've got big wrists big hands and this fits just fine on on my on my wrist. Um, See what else can I, can I say about this? Um, genuine leather, of course I already talked about that. Um, I replaced the O-ring in there. Typically I also seal it. Uh, actually this, no, I don't think this one had no, no this did have an O-ring. Um, I greased it on the inside and I usually try to pack a little bit in there. But when I rebuilt the movement, I completely disassembled it. I took the bridge off. I'll try and see if I can find some pictures. Uh, but I did it probably six, seven months ago. It's actually before I deployed. So it might have even be longer than that, but um, I disassembled and moved the bridge, put all the gears in my ultrasonic cleaner, uh, completely cleaned it, took the hands off. Uh, when I reassembled, I used um, this 3000 weight uh, Mebus uh, oil, 8000 by four weight Swiss oil. Uh, I always use this stuff and I use my, my Bergeron oilers as well. Um, it's, an, it's an excellent watch. Um, now this watch is for sale. I'm not sure yet what I want to put it up for, but uh, this is one of my favorites and I hate to get rid of it. Uh, but if you're interested, you can follow my eBay link and you can go to that. Um, I generally don't sell all my watches, but this is one of the ones that, that I will be selling. Thank you again for watching. I uh, really appreciate your views. Uh, if you like this video, please click the like button. Uh, if you have any comments about this watch or any watches that you would like me to review, or if you have any ideas for uh, how-to videos that you'd like me to do, I can re rebuild the movement. Please leave a comment below and be sure to subscribe. Thank you very much.